Barely Over the Mountain. By Bill Gunter, Cheryl, Miriam, and Peter Mahaffey, and Callie Lasola. Clara, Jonah, Caleb, and Briar are going on an adventure. They won a contest for kids who do smart things to save energy. So they're taking a scenic train route over the Alps to Camp Kaya near Paris to learn even more about being energy wise. Clara, Jonah, Caleb, and Briar live in Venice where the land is sinking and the water is rising. The train to camp will be packed with people trying to escape the flood. Worried that the train won't have enough power to carry every body and everything up over the mountains, their parents tell the children to take only the bare essentials. Here's my bare essential. When they reach the station, water is already swirling up toward the roundhouse. Four locomotives stand at the ready, Sunny Solar, Brisk Breeze, Nuclear NIMBY, and Charcoal. Sunny Solar relies on the sun, Brisk Breeze is pushed by the wind, Nuclear NIMBY runs on atoms, Charcoal gets its power from plants that lived in dinosaur times. Worried about the rising water, Clara chooses the coal-fired engine, the one she knows best. Hurry! Let's take charcoal. The grizzled old steam engineer gives her the thumbs up and springs into action. Coal is the tried and true way to go. I can pull this train up over the mountain all by myself. Let's roll. Charcoal huffs and puffs out of the station. As charcoal nears the fine city of Milan, the train is stopped in its tracks by a human barricade. Too much pollution! Your engine is spoiling our air! The mayor of Milan makes it official. Go back until you find a way to create less pollution. Little Briar starts scrubbing the dirty air with her toothbrush, hoping to make it go away. The others join in to humor her, but they know it's a silly idea. The entire train slides slowly back down the track to Venice, where the water is still rising. Watching the water wash up toward the tracks, Caleb confidently selects the sun-powered engine it's a sunny day, so there's energy streaming down for the taking. Hurry, hurry, let's take sunny solar. The solar engineer beams warmly, eager to take charge. It's a great day to show off the sun's energy. I can pull this train up over the mountain all by myself. Let's roll. Sunny Solar shoots quietly out of the station and passes Milan to cheering throngs. Then the sun drops out of sight. Without its power, Sunny Solar shivers to a stop. Little Briar beams her brightest smile, hoping to take the place of the sun. The others join in to humor her but they know it's a silly idea. The entire train rolls back down the dark track to Venice, where the water is still rising. Watching the water slosh over the tracks, Jonah boldly bets on the wind-powered engine. It's windy out, after all, and he rather enjoys shooting the breeze. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Let's take brisk breeze. The wind engineer puffs up his chest in anticipation. It's a great day to capture the wind. I can pull this train up over the mountain all by myself. Let's roll. Turbines whirring, brisk breeze blasts out of the station past the fine city of Milan and upward into the Swiss Alps. Then the wind stops blowing 
and the train stops still. Little Briar huffs and puffs furiously, hoping to turn the turbines. The others join in to humor her, but they know it's a silly idea. The entire train backs breathlessly down to Venice, where the water is still rising. Watching the water rise over the top of the axles, Briar points proudly at the nuclear-powered engine. Use mine! Hurry, hurry! Hurry, hurry! The atomic engineer reacts immediately, clearly in an excited state. Every day is a fine day to split atoms. I can pull this train up over the mountain all by myself. Let's roll. Nuclear NIMBY splits out of the station. Energized by atoms, it speeds past the fine city of Milan and upward into the heart of the Swiss Alps. Just as the train enters the city of Zermatt with the mighty Matterhorn looming in the distance, warning bells sound. The little container holding nuclear waste is leaking and needs to be replaced. The engineer opens the door to drop the waste into a crack in a nearby glacier, but the people of Zermatt refuse to accept it. No dumping toxic waste here. The Zermatt mayor makes it official. This train cannot pass through our city until you find a better way to deal with your waste. Little Briar offers to store some atoms in her lunch kit, but the engineer says the waste is dangerous and must go in a special sealed container. As the train slips sadly back down the track to Venice, the children put their heads together and come up with a plan. Rather than having one type of engine do it all, they'll ask all four to pull the train up the mountain together. With all the engines combining their energy, we are sure to make it to Paris. But first, those engines need some upgrades to make them safe and energy-wise. So the engineers set to work with Clara and Jonah and Caleb and Briar chiming in. For sunny solar and brisk breeze, they install batteries that store energy so the engines can keep going when the sun and wind disappear. For nuclear NIMBY, they find a super strong waste container and a safe place to store it. For charcoal, they use a cleaner burning engine and a green smokestack to catch the air pollution so it can be buried deep underground. Soon the train is clickety-clacking out of the station, pulled by all four engines. It chugs upward and upward toward the very highest Swiss Alps. But on the very steepest rise, it stops in its tracks, too heavy to go on. The conductor barks an order. There's too much weight on this train. Some bodies and some things need to come off. Again, the children put their heads together and come up with a plan. They will weigh all the bodies and all the things on the train. The people with the heaviest things get off and wait for the next train. Yay, my bears stay! Joining the bags and backpacks alongside the tracks, the left behinds cheer as the train disappears over the final mountain pass. As the train speeds downhill toward Paris, the children are already dreaming up an even smarter way to power over mountains and maybe even help keep the floods back home in Venice from getting worse. By the time they reach Camp Kaya, they have lots of ideas and lots of questions to ask their counselors. Whatever they think of next, you can be sure it'll be another winner. 
We made it, barely over the mountains, bears and all. If you'd like to obtain a print copy of this story, read the electronic version for yourself, or learn more about the Kaya identity on which the story is based, please visit barely.kcvs.ca.